guys, good morning. Got my cup of coffee here and I am going to be sharing with you today my submissions to the one box challenge. This is a video that is put together by Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. I will link to her down below. About every quarter, Rachel encourages us all to just take stock of what we have in our homes and to really challenge us to think about, you know, what are we keeping around us? Are we using these items? Do we love them? Do we just think that they're beautiful? Do they serve a purpose to us? And if they don't, check any of those boxes to just go ahead, pack them up, and send them off to somebody who can put them to good use and find them to be beautiful. So I have quite the uh, mix of things here. I have some things behind me. Literally just pulled them all up from my basement and my bedroom closet. And I'm gonna kinda quickly share with you what is leaving our house. Right here next to me, this is going to be leaving, this little organizer, but inside it I also have some books that are going to be leaving the house. And the only reason I'm getting rid of these children's books is because we already have doubles of them. And I'm also going to donate this book, which I remember being so excited about getting this. It's like a home decor book. But my style has just changed a lot. And even, you know, when I got this, I don't think the things, some of the things in here were ever really my style, but it was just something I like to display. I like the spine of it, but I just, I'm okay passing this along again to somebody that will find it to be beautiful and useful in their home. So these things that are behind me, I'm gonna go through so I can put them on the floor. This is a Melissa and Doug magnetic uh, responsibility chart. I actually taped it shut, but there's all little magnets inside and little, you know, tasks that kids are supposed to do, brush their teeth, you know, put their clothes on, clean up their room, and they get little magnets to mark off that they did it. The pieces are just hard to keep track of and they fall down and kids play with them and I think I can find a better option um, as Lara and Luke get older, so I'm gonna let go this one go. And then this frame is just something I made, something I printed out and put into a frame, but I don't need it. I have a lot of frames, so I'm gonna let that one go. Okay guys. Let's talk about this here. This is my milk glass collection that I used to display in our old home in the built-ins next to the window in our, in our uh, living room. And I spent a long time collecting these pieces, searching them out at thrift stores, and I really loved it so much. But we've been in this house for two years and these are still in the box that I packed them in. We simply don't have a place to display them and any of the places I could display them, I just have lost the desire to or I would rather put other things there. So in this glass cabinet here, technically I could put these in, but everything in here I really love and I'm using and appreciating. And then, you know, we have the hutch above our computer. I could put them there, but we have baskets there that are full of useful things and we just simply don't have a place to put them. So I think it's time to let them go. So of course, as I'm pulling these out, I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful, I should use that. But I don't, I don't use it, and I haven't needed it in two years, so I'm not even going to look at them anymore. I'm just gonna let them go. These two glass hurricanes I'm also going to let go. I got these at a yard sale a few years ago and I do think that they're lovely. They have a mercury glass base and they're nice and tall. I just haven't used them. In two years in this house, I have not used them. And that means that I haven't wanted to use them or I know our first Christmas, I tried to make them work on our mantle. And just this house has a different feel to it than our old house. So I'm going to let them go. I have three more picture frames uh, that I'm going to let go. This was from the dollar store. I'm gonna let that one go. And so is this, which I think that these are lovely images, but again, I'm not using them. And this one also. We had like a gallery wall in our old house above our bed. Um, so I needed a lot of little frames to fill that up, but we don't have that anymore. I have this bag of stickers that say different rooms of the house. I used these when we moved and I stuck them on the cardboard boxes. So I'm actually gonna give this to my friends that are moving. I'll see if she wants these. I went through some old craft supplies in our basement and I found this whole set of stamp pads and I think we have some ink in there too. Or maybe, I think the ink actually might have dried up. And I do think stamps are fun. I think kids enjoy stamps, but 
my kids can't really handle stamps. They stamp themselves, they get the ink all over them or other things that it should not be on. And it's just not something that we're gonna have in our house right now because they're still young and I don't want to, I'm gonna pick my battle and I'm not gonna fight with you over a stamp. Um, the same thing goes for glitter and markers. We don't have any of them in our house. You are welcome to use them at school, at church, at your friend's house, go wild. And then we have a charcoal pencil kit. I actually think this might've been Dan's, but um, he's not using it. So this is actually really nice. This is like an artist kind of thing. So hopefully that will go to a good home. And then I have another little organizing bin and this little 31 tote. Um, I'm just not using them. I haven't needed them. These curtains I have had for a long time. It's a set of two and I actually have three packs of these. I might have had four packs at one point because in our old house we had the four windows, you know, two in the dining room, two in the living room that all needed the same curtains at one point. And I actually asked for these for Christmas and I thought I really was, they were gonna be perfect. They have big grommet um, openings, but they just weren't long enough because standard size curtains, standard size curtains, just usually the 84 inch length, yeah, 84 inches, it's just not long enough. If you hang your curtains above the window frame, like I typically do, or I always do, um, they're just not long enough. And I had so many thoughts to like extend these, you know, sew on something on the bottom, sew it on the top, cut them down, and I, I had lots of ideas, which is why I've kept them for probably three years, but, I, I just am not using them. It's time to let them go. And lastly, I have this diaper box that I actually keep in my bedroom closet and I'm just constantly filling it with anything that I come across in a drawer, in a closet, in the laundry, in a bin somewhere. If I come across just a single item or a couple things, I'm not gonna go to the thrift store and drop it off. But if I have a bin to put it somewhere, I'm more likely to take it out of where it doesn't belong and we don't, aren't using it, and put it in here, and when this fills up, then I take it and donate it. So I went through our winter things, and I did thrift this pair of thin slit gloves, but they were too tight and too long for even Evie, so they aren't gonna work for, and you know, the other kids too. And then this beanie hat that my husband isn't wearing, that's gonna go. We got this book at a thrift store, my parents think I'm sleeping, and neither of us had read it when we bought it for Evie, and then one night Dan read it and he was like, why do we have this? This book is terrible. So I don't actually, I never read it myself, but he was like, can we get rid of this? So I said, okay. These paint brushes I got at the free swap that I'm actually going to this weekend, and I'm bringing all the other, these things too. Uh, we got this, and again, this kind of falls into that category of like, just something I don't wanna deal with at this stage of parenthood in my home, and it's gonna go. I bought this Family Feud card game around Christmas time to play with our, um, we had a Christmas party and to play at my family's. Um, it was okay, people weren't crazy about it, so I decided I'll just let it go. Okay, this was a little um, lesson that I paid for. I showed this in a um, thrift haul at the beginning of Veda, and I said how I bought these J. Crew necklaces and I was going to resell them. And this one I think I only paid $2 for, so it wasn't a very expensive lesson to learn. But the lesson was to always check things very um, closely. I didn't even realize that some of the gems were missing from this necklace until I went to take pictures to list it. And finally, I have just some clothing items that I removed from my wardrobe when I went through and swapped it for my spring summer. And a lot of these are things that I had pulled out of bins that I couldn't wear while I was pregnant, so they haven't been worn for a long time. And now that I have the opportunity to wear them, I either don't want them or they don't fit or, you know, other reasons. So this is a little cardigan that I do think is nice. I like the black and white stripe. It was from J. Crew, but it's just showing wear. It's kind of pilling, so we're gonna let that one go. This is a limited top that I got. And I just, in my, in my older years of life, <laughs> I'm really focusing more on the fabrics that I'm wearing because I'm just realizing that certain things don't feel good on my skin or 
they make me sweaty so this is one of those I don't actually know what this material is but I just know I don't like how it feels against my skin so I'm gonna let it go this was a top that I thrifted it's a gap top um, while I was early pregnant with I think Lara and I thought oh I can't wear it now but you know postpartum I can wear it never wore it then I got pregnant with Luke oh I can't wear it now but I'll wear it later no now that I could potentially wear it I don't want to so it's going this is another tank top that I'm not crazy about the fabric on it and it also has a pleat like right in the center and it's just unflattering it's always like being pulled and it doesn't look right this is a gap chambray shirt that's like a very light wash denim and it's just it's not me it feels too um, California for me for being on the East Coast I just, I think I have two other to chambray tops. I can let that one go. This was a very beautiful linen dress that my sister found and gave to me. It's brand new, um, but it's kind of see-through and I don't like to wear a lot of layers. It makes me hot. This is another kind of chambray top that I'm getting rid of. It's the one that's like not really chambray. It's like that tensile uh, material or something. Um, it's cute, but it has these very high slits on the side. So again, I'd have to wear like a tank top under it or very high-waisted jeans, which I do like. I just don't own any. Um, but it's also a little snug on me, like around the shoulder area. I've had this one, guys, for probably like 10 or 12 years. This was like always my going out top. I don't know. I just liked it. It was nice and flowy, so if you were going out and eating a big dinner, you could still be comfortable, and the, the sleeves were kind of like poofed, like Anna Green Gables. I was very into the poof sleeved uh, look, but it's it, that time has passed, and thank you for your service, and see you later. One more thing. This tiered tray. Oops, what I dropped. Um, again, something I bought for the house. I thought I would use it. I've tried to make it work and I'm just, I'm not. I'm not reaching for it. I thought I could put fruit on it, but it's just not big enough. I don't know, the chrome just isn't working for me because we don't really have any other chrome in our home. So, thank you for your service, but I'm gonna let you go. And that is it for my one box challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm getting rid of, hearing kind of the reasoning behind why I'm letting these things go, and just encouraging you to really take stock in what you're keeping around you because the things we see and the things that we have to deal with and shift around and clean and make decisions on, it, it all affects us. And you may think that it's just stuff, but like my friend Dawn from The Minimal Mom says, it's not just stuff, and every time you see clutter, you're forced to make a decision about it. Every time you see that pile of clutter, your brain is thinking, you know, do I need that? Do I want that? Why is that there? I don't like that being there, but I don't want to deal with it right now. I don't know what to do with it. All these things are going through our brains, and sometimes it causes stress that we don't really understand where this stress is coming from, but sometimes it's being caused by just the stuff around us. So. This challenge is really awesome. Be sure to check it out. Uh, there will be a playlist in Rachel's video with all the other participants. Um, so hopefully you will watch those and be encouraged to just love the homes that you have. And no matter how big, how small, they can all be beautiful, welcoming havens for you. So I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. One more thing. One more thing. Well, actually, I won't see you later. Hope you serve someone else better than me.